Hey everybody, welcome back to Nerd News Today. I'm Matthew, and on today's episode, I wanna tell you about a product that has improved the quality of life on my videography and photography. The VOCP65 Creative Photo Kit is a three-in-one package deal that combines a trio of very useful items in one handy-dandy package that is ready to go pretty much right out of the box. This versatile tool is very useful on a lot of different things, whether you're taking photos, whether you're doing video, for a number of things. But my question today is, is this thing gonna be worth the price? Because it does come at a pretty hefty price tag. I spent some time trying this thing out and I've got some thoughts about it. But first things first, let me tell you guys what actually comes in here. Because as I mentioned, this is a three pack of gear. And what you're getting is a smartphone holder, an extendable arm that you could do all sorts of things with, and a clamp that you could use to attach to a tripod leg or to a table, really whatever you've got that's flat and can be clamped onto. Now you might be saying to yourself, well, I don't really need a smartphone holder. And that might be true, but this is not strictly a smartphone holder. It's kind of just one of the items that's part of this deal. You don't need to use this because it also does have a thread to allow you to put other things like monitors or lights or whatever you might need. There's a number of ways you can use everything that's in this kit and they're all quite useful. You're going to see what I'm talking about in one second here. But first, let me show you guys what everything looks like immediately out of the box. All right, so here is our VO CP65 Creative Photo Kit. You can see here that the front just has an image of what this entire thing is gonna look like, as well as just a reminder of what the pieces are in this kit. And the back of the box runs down all the specs as far as height, weight, how the features operate and function, and some other items specific for each product that we're looking at. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's pull this thing out and see what it looks like once we open it up. And let's not forget this instruction manual hiding on the inside. So this is a fairly self-explanatory unboxing because basically everything you see here is what you're gonna get. Uh, it looks like our Allen wrench kind of flew out, but yeah, basically all the pieces that we mentioned in the front of that packaging, you're gonna see right here. And that includes the VOTSA Deluxe Tripod Support Arm, the VO SPH Smartphone Holder, and the VO CP65 Clamp. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull these guys out and let's also take a look at the user manual. And the funny thing about this user manual is that it's actually not a singular user manual for everything together. It's actually three separate user manuals. So the top one here is the user manual for the support arm. Underneath that, we have the manual for the clamp. And then finally, the smartphone holder. So everybody gets their own instruction book. And besides the Allen wrench who was trying to escape the packaging earlier, we get two other accoutrements that we'll get to in a moment. But here is everything out of the box, ready to go. So let's go ahead and assemble our parts and give this a test. First, let's talk about the support arm, which is definitely among the highest quality of support arms I've used. With a quarter inch and three eighth inch thread, this can fit just about any tripod or similarly threaded accessory. Folded up, it's a little over six inches long, and fully extended, it's just about 11. The arm is super lightweight and made from aircraft grade aluminum that can support up to six and a half pounds when in use. To adjust it, there's one knob that turns everything. If that knob is unlocked, all the parts are gonna flop around like a fish out of water, but the instant it's turned into place, everything is locked tighter than Fort Knox. There's also ball joints on each end to offer maximum articulation and flexibility. The nice thing about this arm is that it also includes a bayonet joint. So if you have a Vanguard tripod or any other that you can easily attach this arm or any other with a similar sort of thing, you can easily attach this arm right into that. All you have to do is unscrew the plate sitting on the arm, swap it out for the bayonet, and then place that into the appropriate slot on your tripod. But if you don't have that, all you need to do is screw it into the clamp and mission accomplished. Nothing difficult about this whatsoever. Besides attaching to the clamp and smartphone holder, you can also use it for anything else that has a thread hole, whether it's lights, monitor, mic, or whatever you might have. Speaking about the clamp, let's go into that right now, which is super strong as I discovered and incredibly efficient to use. The easy grip locking knob is how you adjust the width on the clamp simply by spinning it like it was a vise. It moves very smoothly in and out, making it super quick to get into whatever position you need. There's a molded rubber inner grip on the inside for when you attach it to a tripod leg. And if you are doing that, make sure to push back those front clasps so that they aren't in your way. The front clamp is more for flat surfaces than a curvy one, but they can be simply flipped aside to not intrude on your clamping good time. There are also three threaded holes, two quarter inch and one three eighth inch, which you can use to attach other things to as well. Besides clamping to a tripod leg, you can also use it on just about any flat or cylindrical surface, as long as this small guy has enough space to open its mouth and get around the object. Depending on the arm you use with this clamp, it can purportedly hold up to a 22 pound payload. Finally, there's the smartphone holder. 
This ultralight add-on is quite handy if you're using your phone paired with your camera or another app, or also want to have your phone ready just to take pics, stream, answer text messages, or whatever you might need it to do. It weighs less than a pound and has a rubber padding to clamp onto your phone as long as it's no wider than three and a half inches. One half twists away from the other half to extend and squeeze a device between it. Now my phone was a bit large for it, but it does get in there. It just took me a little bit of extra time to work it in. We'll come back to that point in a little bit. Now the holder also has a ball joint to allow more flexibility for your phone's position, although it can be a bit much at times and arguably almost too smooth when you just want your phone in one simple spot and don't have to fight for it. But to be fair, it does have its uses to move that much. Just like the clamp, there's another simple one-turn locking mechanism here, which feels very secure, but it did take me a little bit of time to get used to it straight out of the box. Not a bad thing, just like most products, it takes a little time to get into the flow of how everything works. There's also a cold shoe mount on this smartphone holder as well to add another layer of functionality. Here I've got the VOC P65 kit all set up on a tripod. And this tripod is actually a Vanguard tripod that I'm using right now. It's part of their VO3T series, which we've also got a video of on this channel. But the CP65 kit does work with pretty much any tripod set out there. It just has one special engineering thing that helps enhance the experience on a Vanguard series product. So getting this guy all set up is pretty much a breeze. Once you know how everything works, everything attaches with really no problems at all. One thing that I learned while doing this review was that phones that have a larger case are gonna have some difficulties attaching to the smartphone holder. While the smartphone holder does stretch a pretty decent amount and it did fit my phone, it felt like I was reaching almost maximum capacity. And even then, while it wasn't maximum capacity, it still had a little bit of a struggle getting in there. That struggle wasn't necessarily a bad thing, I should admit though, because the grips that are on the smartphone holder are very firm and I, I did feel rather secure with my smartphone in there. It just took a little bit more work to get it to stay put. But once it was, it was definitely not gonna go anywhere anytime soon. But I would say if you have a case as big as mine or a phone as big as mine, which is a Samsung S21 Plus, or if you have one of the new iPhones, those are getting pretty huge, you're gonna probably wanna take it out of your case or just get a much slimmer case specifically for use with filming. If you have an OtterBox or something like that, I mean, uh, good luck getting that thing on here. It's probably not impossible, but uh, it's gonna take a lot of work. Now we already talked about how this item integrates flawlessly with Vanguard products, but what if you're not using a Vanguard product and have another thing that doesn't screw into that bayonet joint? I've actually got it right here clamped down so you can see exactly how it works and it fits on any tripod and it's very secure. Now I wouldn't suggest going around and shaking this thing very aggressively because I could see this thing flopping here and there, but for the most part it's on there really tight. I don't think it's gonna go anywhere anytime soon and that's quite impressive. My one warning to anybody who gets this piece is make sure that everything is really, really firmly screwed in. Otherwise, things will flop over. The clamp is very easy to tighten, so that's not too tough to do, but it's some of the smaller things that cause some difficulty and have me concerned just a tiny bit. For example, the thread on the arm really needs to be extremely tight to keep that in place. Likewise, same thing with the thread that's going out to the smartphone holder. Those are the major connection points and those are the most important ones because if this part here flops down, your phone is gonna crash into that tripod or worse, go flying to who knows where. So I urge you to really, really tighten the heck out of these things. Make it so impossibly immovable that you don't have to worry about it. And luckily you can do that, but really that comes down to your own personal grip strength. And if you have it, great. If you don't, you're gonna have to probably get it really fast. Overall, I found the VOCP65 creative kit to be really a pretty perfect setup for what I was looking for it to do. Getting all three of these elements together in one package is a wonderful deal. It's a great way to have everything in one shot. And there's room for a lot of versatility here. The arm is quite strong. The grip is very firm. Everything feels overall nice and secure. There's versatility in the threads you can use, the ability to change heights, put different things on the arms, and to attach to any tripod or really anything else that you have that it can clamp onto. Everything about this kit works out just perfectly for exactly what I'm looking for it to do. Now the price of this kit varies greatly. I think the MSRP is actually $249.99. That's a lot of money. That's 250 bucks to get this thing normally. I've seen it on the Vanguard site on sale for about 160. So you might be able to find it for around that price range or cheaper. And I'd say at that price point, it's very good. Everything that you're looking at here can cost a whole lot more money. This stuff is very expensive. And what you're paying for is the security. You're paying for good solid material. You're paying for great construction and very smart engineering and you're gonna get that with a VOCP65 kit. Best of all, if you are staying in that Vanguard family of equipment and you do have a Vanguard tripod like I have here, you can easily attach it into there for even more security, and that's a great bonus. But chances are you don't own one of these Vanguard tripods just yet, and you have something else, whether it be a Manafrotto or something weird you got off of Amazon because it was cheap. Everything here will still fit in just fine and be perfect to use. I'm happy with this thing, and I see myself getting a lot of use out of it, whether it be for the 
the purposes of monitoring something or actually just having a secondary cell phone camera just to kind of film things on the side. And yes, you could find some of these things cheaper, but remember you get what you pay for. There's plenty of affordable ones here that are probably better for entry level folks, but if you're ready to make the step into something a little bit more sturdy, then the VO CP65 kit is the way to go. Now, if you wanna pick up this kit or the tripod that we're looking at today for yourself, go ahead and check out some of my affiliate links in the description of this video below. There, you're gonna find a few different places to pick these products up. And if you click on any of those links, they help support this YouTube channel at no extra cost to you. If you're already familiar with this brand and have been using this particular product, let me know what you think about it and any pro tips that I should know about. But that's my look at the Vanguard VO CP65 Creative Photo Kit. I like this thing and I think you're gonna like it a lot too. So until next time, I'm Matthew. This has been Nerd News Today. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.